Sports NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We are at United Center in the Windy City. Tonight, the Chicago Bulls getting set to match up with the Toronto. The Toronto Raptors begin the game with the basketball. To Leonard. Ibaka. A drive, but he can't get it to go. Done. Pass a chance. Gun shot, that misses. And that's next level defense. The defender took away the pocket space of the shooter. Now, as a shooter, they shoot hundreds of shots each and every day from that pocket with consistency. Now you're forcing to change the angle or the positioning of that pocket, you're going to lower the chances of them making that shot. Bowles with it. Deep right corner. 4 3. Tough shot there for Chris Dunn. No good. Danny Green gets it in the right corner. Leonard. Kawhi Leonard. First couple didn't go. That one is true. The great defenders, the ones that really earn their paycheck, are the ones that refuse to be screened. You stuck to that screen like Velcro. Come on, help get me out. Ed, I'm going to gloat about my old team here for a second. Did you know the Bulls are the only NBA franchise to win multiple championships and never lose an NBA final series in their history? 6-0 right now. It helped to have a guy named MJ. But, Jay, think about this. If he's not gone those two seasons, maybe it's eight straight finals wins. Kawhi Leonard at the line for a chance at a three-point play. A career 84% free throw shooter. Good shot, good shot. to Levine. Fires the three. That one off the mark. It's no good. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Free throw good as he finishes off the three-point play. They're back within a bucket. Across the timeline, it's Lowry. He'll run the offense. Kawhi Leonard. He's three of five. 60% shooting from the field. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. To Markinen. Here's a chance from long range. Tough shot for Markinen. No good. Great contest by the D, but I want to see the coaching staff call the same exact play the next possession. Get that offensive player the ball. Let him prove that it wasn't the D. It was more in his own head. To Chris Dunn. Thing of the past. Team basketball is back. And if you have that personnel with the versatility plus the mindset, game over. It's a big finish. Woo! This rookie is a high flyer. He brings that kind of pro-am vibe to the NBA, and it's fun to watch. Fred Van Vliet. Here comes the screen. Beyond the arc for three. It's no good. Shots not going down. foul and a chance at three coming up the defender was actually in a good position there they even made a decent play on the ball but sometimes those bounces go the other way still stay aggressive out there Good as he completes the three-point play. The lead is up to six. 
Fred Van Vliet. Bulls come away with it. Done. Throws it up. That pass taken away by Toronto. You go back to the principles. Things that we started working on when we were in first and second grade is called the shell drill. You stay down in the stance defensively, you try to deny the next pass away, and you have to communicate. If your conditioning is bad, you have no chance. But if you're able to do all these things together, collectively, you will be able to stop a great passing team. The shot no good by Manu. To Zach Levine. Count the basket. Two more points in the paint. For a smaller player, you have to be more creative with your imagination when you finish with those shots around the rim. For the audience, that may look difficult, but for the player himself, that's what they practice every single day. Finishing inside the paint on that one. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Trying to cash in, off the mark. He's made those before, but that was well defended. I'm not sure that the contest on the shot contributed to the miss, but what it might have done is seep into the confidence of the shooter that the next time he might decide to try to drive to the rim instead of settling for a jump. Fred Van Vliet. The Raptors down to three on the shot clock. Fires the three. Can't connect. Yes, and a foul. Hell of a chance at a three-point play. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Missed it at the line. He throws it down. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Okay, from beyond the arc, he still can't find his range from deep. It's no good. Yes, and the foul. And a chance at three coming up. Oh, he should get some kind of acting award. That's a great sell by the offensive player. But guess what? The refs bit, and that's the game. throw is good. It's a three-point play, and that just might put this game out of reach. Now the Raptors going to use a timeout, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence. Knocked loose. It's a turnover as they head the other way. Looking for his man. That pass taken away by Toronto. Fred Van Vliet. Down to five on the 24. Trying to cash in. Shot by Ananobi, no good. See, the defender did a really good job. He stayed down. He didn't go and bite for all the head fakes. He waited until the last second to contest that shot. Way to know the scouting report. Deep three at the buzzer. The Bulls take this one as they take care of business at home. That'll wrap things up for Jay Williams. And See y'all next time. Jalen Rose signing out.